I wanted to start with a pranayama practice. So find your comfy seat. And um, I'm going to put my left hand in the heart space just to feel the movement of my chest area. And for the moment, that's going to be still and right hand on the belly somewhere where the arms are still relaxed. And this is Durga Pranayama. It's a three-part breath, so probably you've tried this before. So the first part of the three-part breath is we're sending air sort of all the way down to the deepest part of the torso, <laughs> abdominal, I guess, way down. So we're breathing into the deep belly. And for a few deep breaths, we'll just feel the movement in the lower belly, keeping the shoulders, chest, and ribs calm. So breathing through the nose. Drawing air deep down through the nose, through the throat, and then down into the lowest chamber of the lungs. Part the ballet dancers don't get to breathe into so much. So I think it's really great to focus on that lower belly, bottom portion of the lung capacity. And then with the next inhale, we'll keep that going, but allow expansion also in the rib cage. So laterally to the side also. So first we fill the lower portion. Feel the belly move and then the ribs expand. And then the ribs contract and the belly sinks again as we exhale. So here's two parts. isolations, keeping the shoulders and chest calm, sending breath into the belly and ribs, and then contracting like a bellows. A couple more cycles like that. Approximately equal length of inhale and exhale. Great, when you're ready, we'll bring it into the third section, the very top of the lung. So when we in, start to inhale, we'll fill the belly. Then the ribs will expand to the side and then also the chest will rise like a buoy in the water. And then back through all three sections on the exhale. 
We get to notice how this affects the posture as well as we ride this wave through the belly. Rib cage and chest. And then with the exhale, sinking back through the chest, ribs. And core. A couple more like that, all the way through all three chambers. As you're ready, we can release the hands and relax the breath, but keep a degree of attention on that rising and falling wave of breath throughout the rest of the practice. Sitting onto both sit bones and floating up through the spine nice and long. Visualizing those currents of air settling around us. The only turbulence caused by our breath. And then moving that easefully into the remainder of the day. Tapping back into slow and deep breath as needed. Let's bring the palms of the hands together. Thumbs next to the third eye. Acknowledgement of our higher awareness. And next to the lips, our expression. And then to the heart, the very center of our being. Namaste. Yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs>